Let's see the game plan. 1600 meters. Flags up. Races on from the 1600 meter marker. Kaya Coco, first one to respond. Captains Ransom and Princess Kala moving around them. Only the Brave now gets stoked up. And the game plan looks to be only the Brave to set the fractions. And a good gallop. Only the Brave stretching them out now gets away by two. Kaya Coco. Captains Ransom's moving around. War of Athena. There's only a length in it. And Captains Ransom has one length on War of Athena. Princess Kala's on the outside past the thousand disc. Mount Laurel's further back in the running. Zimbabwe and Chaching seven, eight lengths or free state star. Sent by Destiny as next wave. The top two getting away and the rider of only the brave continues to just niggle away and stretch them out. Kaya Coca's second coming to the 600. Three lengths, Captain's Ransom. Princess Kala's on the outside. War of Athena's going to start up and go around Captain's Ransom. Towards the outside, Mount Laurel. Homeward bound, 400 to go. Kaya Coca, the one to get to. Captain's Ransom. Princess Kala's running a big race. War of Athena's on the inside. Captain's Ransom. Princess Kala down the middle. War of Athena and Kaya Coco. Trying to close in Zarina between them and Mount Laurel. Princess Kala, the last hundred. War of Athena's now knuckling down on the inside. Princess Kala. Zarina. War of Athena. Zarina is going to probably come home on the line with Princess Keller. Not going to split them. War of Athena's on the inside. It's very, very tight. Maybe Zarina on the line. Maybe number five. Zarina splits them and gets up in the shadow of the post. Will go five. Zarina perhaps a short hit. Well, let's look at this footage. And as they hit the line, whoa, let's go back a fraction Zarina Princess Kella, War of Athena. If we can just go back one bob there, it is desperately close. Whoa! Livid and promised as they hit the line there. Well, very, very close. The angles with the horse nearest us, Princess Kella. Zarina's on the inside. We'll wait for the judges. Let's get Keegan DeMillo into the winner's area. And uh, behind that mask, you're beaming from ear to ear, and you have every right to be. Tell us about the race. Looked uh, like you had uh, a smooth run in transit. Yeah, look, um, she, she actually broke out quite nicely today. I had a nice position, and uh, just as we turned for home, I went for my run, and I got taken up a little bit. But uh, she recovered from it nicely. She's very temperamental, so when, she, when she's right on the day, she, she's, she's very good. She certainly is, Keegan, and... <clears throat> Excuse me, you had a good day, having a good day, and uh, yeah, the Candace Bass Robinson stable, not very often that they go back to Cape Town without uh, something big, and this is no exception. Yeah, look, in the July we had a little bit of no luck, we had no luck at all, but uh, hopefully I've made up for it, and uh, just well done to Trevor, thank you very much, he's, uh, he's worked very hard, yeah, and uh, nice, to, nice to get this one out the way. There's your trophy, you also get a 5,000 Rand voucher from Johnson Workwear. So uh, that's wonderful. You'll go and do some shopping at the Springfield branch. Enjoy it. There's your trophy. Well done, Keegan. Thank you very much. Yes, like I said, well done to, to Candice, obviously, and to the whole Bash Racing Stables. To Trevor, thank you very much for all the hard work you do behind the scenes. And uh, to Mr. Russell, Mr. Shirtliff, and Mr. Longmore, well done. Uh, well deserved. Congratulations. There's Keegan DeMello. He's going to lift his trophy for the cameras. There it is. Group one success. And uh, thanks very much to Johnson Workwear for their sponsorship of the race and for all their wonderful treats that they've given us.